today we're gonna have some toilet talk. Not an interesting subject, but actually it is. So this toilet we've been using for a year and a half on our travels. And today we're gonna dive in why we're upgrading. Bought this toilet for $50 on Amazon a year and a half ago. And it came with one bucket, one container for using it in the outdoors, and then also a lid to go with it. Lid is very key to keep the smells down. We've been using this bucket here, which is a solid bucket, and been putting a bag in it, using some pellets for urine, or using some composting material for number two. Or for the men, Abe uses sometimes jars, even from the dollar store, or old spaghetti jars or something like that, as a pee bottle, if you could say. But we came to the point where this doesn't really hold much, to be honest, especially when you're full time. So what we ended up doing was using the empty one and upgrading to a five gallon bucket. Conveniently enough, it fits right on the bucket. So now we have a huge five gallon bucket versus, I don't know, what is this? Maybe a couple gallons, if that. But after another six months of using that, we decided we need to upgrade again. So we now have come up with what we're gonna show you what we're making today using a very large funnel and a bottle with some water in it to test it. The nice thing about this project is all we've used to make this work is a small hand saws, a permanent marker to mark on your five gallon bucket. And that's it actually. We bought a couple different sizes. This was the largest one that we ended up getting and that we could find. It is 20 centimeters wide, and which comes out to about eight inches. And what we ended up doing, slice, look how fast I did that. We ended up putting, testing it a few times in there and figuring out where it works and then creating something that looks like this. Once we have that inside the toilet, we have a gallon jug that'll go in like that. So this is sort of what it will look like when it's inside here. So the nice thing about having this and adding these elements here is that we didn't have to build a whole toilet seat and everything. It fits nicely right on top of that. That there's handles on the side here. So if you reach in, you can pull on the lip of the sort of like here so we have the bucket you can hold on the lip of the five gallon bucket like this and through the handles here and you're able to pull off the entire thing pee jug stays there and then be able to dump out your pee total cost for this diy composting and pee diverting toilet fifty dollars well that was a year and a half ago it's 62 dollars now we have the amazon link down in the description five gallon bucket five dollars from walmart this massively large, that was loud, this massively large stainless steel funnel, $20, and that's on Amazon as well. And then this water jug, don't worry, that's water in there. <laughs> this was free, of course. Nice thing about this diverting toilet that we want to talk about as well is, you know, sometimes these jugs that they have in these urine diverting toilets, they can stink after a while. So the nice thing about this setup is you can use any container in a way after you're done with it. So say you have like a juice container or any type of container, milk jugs, any type of that, that'll fit right down in the front in between there. So that's a way to keep costs low and wanting to keep it smelling fresh as well. This lid here came with the toilet, like I mentioned earlier, and it actually fits on once the seat is up. It fits on right here pretty well. Um, it fits on great with the ones that it came with, but it fits pretty well here. It covers most of it. It sticks up a little at the front just because it's hitting the edge of the funnel and the five gallon bucket. But it's still nice to keep smells if you have any smells there. It's still nice to keep it down a bit. 